You know why you see things as backwards in this world? Why you think something is backwards? It's reversed from what reality is. It's reversed and perverse from the way it should naturally be, the natural order of things, such as today, the sexual revolution of the females. They have a sexual role in this world, whether they accept it or not, and that is to produce children and to be mothers. If they choose to be a prostitutes and hookers and sluts and con artists, they're going against their own nature, which is a perversion. You see perversions every single day in this world, and you've come to accept them all. And by accepting them all, you have slowly become narcissistic and psychopathic. Here is why. You are not supposed to accept the unacceptable. They are called abominations. And since you all want me to talk about the Bible, I will talk about the Bible. These things are abominations, and you need to get rid of them. You need to expose them for what they are and to eradicate them. You are not supposed to bow to them. You are not supposed to give in to them. You are not supposed to listen to their demands and feel sorry for them. As I have said before in previous videos, evil always pretends to be a victim. Every single time. Be it Palestinians versus Israel, be it the feminists versus the men, you name it, evil always pretends to be a victim. Lucifer, when he was kicked out of heaven, pretended to be a victim. Pretended that his daddy God didn't love him anymore and he loved the humans better. Evil always pretends to be a victim. Get it through your head. Every narcissist you've ever met has tried to do what? Yes, pretend to be a victim. This is what the world is. If you want to act and see who out there is the real people, from the, genu from the genuine, from the false people, look with the ones that are strong, standing tall, and walking tall still, after they've been beaten down a hundred times before. Evil always pretends to be a victim, while good people always pick up, dust themselves off, and walk, keep on walking. You got to make a choice, you know. You got to pick a choice that you're going to follow goodness and destroy evil, or if you're going to sit there and give in to evil and become a, nothing more than a puppet for evil. Now, I understand how the world is tempting you right now with, with your iPhones and your internet and everything like that, keeping you so occupied that you can't even think about anything outside of your own bubble and your own world, that you're so focused on your own goals of like having sex, having a great car, having a great job, having a great life, all that stuff you're so focused on, but if you bother to step outside of the box and actually see how you're actually put into that box and being brainwashed, yes, aka the matrix, that does exist, and you're all part of it, you're all falling for it, and you're allowing people with super high amounts of money to rule your world, to tell you what's in, tell you what's out, basically rule your fucking life, and you're a slave, and you're at the same time you're thinking, I am a great, intelligent, smart, independent person. You're nothing more than a puppet and a tool. If you're a rap star and you like the bling, you're a tool. If you're a rocker and you like the leather, you're a tool. If you're a Harley rider, you're a tool. Understand it. Those things make you a tool. Step out of the matrix. Wake up to reality. Just step out of the matrix, folks. Just give it up. Let it go. And understand that all this clamoring on to this earthly crap, it's all, it's, it's all pointless anyways and futile. Because you're going to die one day. Shouldn't you be worried about more like what you're going to do with eternity instead of wondering what you're going to do with the 80, 90, 100 years you got on this planet? Give me a break. You're all so busy with the instant gratification that you cannot even think about, oh shit, what's it going to be like in 20 years now if I go down this road today? Think. Use your brains. Almost everyone in Europe understood when Obama became president that everything that has happened so far, we, we've seen it coming. You all didn't see it coming. You all like, oh, he's a black guy. Let's get a black president for once. And now a female Hillary Clinton comes up, who's killed tons of people, but you don't give a shit. It's all like, yeah, let's get a woman in power. You don't give a flying fuck that there's other countries in the world that have a female in power, and they're no better than the male. You're all led by trends. You're all, lit, you're all by the hype. You're all about instant gratification. Stop with this insanity, folks. All of your behavior nowadays is the reverse from normality. And if it is the reverse from normality, it is what? Evil. Thank you. Everything in reverse is fucking evil. That is why it is in reverse in the first place. To show you that it is a perversion of what we consider normal behavior. This is how we diagnose schizophrenics, this is how we diagnose narcissistic people, this is how we do not diagnose the psychopath. They do shit that is backwards from reality. It's like watching a video cassette tape backwards in rewind mode. They live and do everything backwards. 
Stop taking part of the backwards behavior and start joining the normal world, please. I cannot keep making videos about the most obvious things. It's like somewhere in down 1950 to 1970, some kind of giant dumb fucking bomb went off, and the whole world decided, let's do everything backwards now. Well, I'm sick of it. You know, this is World on Fire. I'm out of here.